if someone had said to me 30 years ago you'd still be doing this, I would have told them they were absolutely crazy. I, I've just been doing it for so long. Sometimes I forget I have a mask on. We're a bunch of anonymous women artists who started complaining about the art world in 1985, and we did it with posters on the streets of New York. We take the names of dead women artists to keep their memories alive. Their identities are secret, but their message is clear. End inequality in the art world. Why does gender parity matter? Culture is, is the story of everyone. And how can you really tell the story of a culture when you don't include all the voices within the culture? Otherwise, it's just the history and the story of power. I feel like you've answered that question before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, a lot of our early posters weren't funny. They were just angry and they were out there. The Guerrilla Girls first got mad in 1984, when the Museum of Modern Art staged a major exhibition with hundreds of artists, only a few of them women or minorities. We would sit in bars, and we realized that the more we laughed and made fun of the art world, the better we felt. Because at that time, I think a lot of women and a lot of artists of color were taking their situation personally, not realizing that there was a systemic problem. The system did not want us. How many people were there originally? Oh, uh, it changed all the time. We have so many secrets and that's one of them, but I would imagine that your fantasy is more interesting than the reality. I have no fantasy. You have no fantasy about the Gorilla Girls? You can now find the Guerrilla Girls' art and posters in the very institutions that they've protested. But as they continue to point out, in the art world, inequality still reigns. There is still such little attention given to female artists and artists of color. Well, sometimes it's, you know, three steps forward, two steps back. One step forward, two steps back. You know, progress isn't, uh, isn't even. Look at those women, those women who marched for the right to vote. A lot of them died before they were ever able to vote. That's unbelievable. Well, it's not unbelievable, it's kind of um, sad. You've had to keep your identity a secret. Have you ever felt like I want more personal recognition for this? Oh, the sadness of Superman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wearing this mask gives you a certain kind of freedom to say whatever you want. If you're in a situation where you're a little afraid to speak up, put a mask on. You won't believe what comes out of your mouth. And you won't believe what comes out of other people's mouths when you're wearing a mask. 